Hey guys, uh, Derek here. Uh, back with another quick layout update. Uh, this isn't going to be too long. Um, feels like I've worked a lot on the layout, but at the same time, uh, it doesn't seem like I've got a lot done. Um, so, shouldn't be a very long update, but I thought I would just pop up a video quick anyways. Um, so, I'm going to grab this camera and show you some of the some of my uh, background and uh, mountain scenery stuff that, that I've been working on. Um, so, and you can tell me what you think. Alright, here we are back at the uh, rock wall, mountain, whatever you want to call it. Um, I decided to add some more um, rock faces. Uh, these are still drying. Uh, as you know, sculpt a mold takes few days for it to fully dry um, so I added those uh, and it's more of a ledge here now uh, to break it up a little bit um, I got that idea from uh, Paul uh, I believe his name last name's pronounced Dozert or Dowsert but uh, he kind of gave me that idea that way it wasn't completely straight up and down uh, so thanks thanks goes out to him <coughs> him excuse me um, I did start painting these rock faces here, which is only pretty much the first step, or the second step, if you watch my video on how I'm painting these. Um, moving down, I got these painted, and I started adding the vegetation there. Um, so you'll have to let me know what you think about that. kind of want your ideas before I get too far into this, but I think it, it's turned out relatively well. Uh, there's another one that's already painted, so I'm going to continue with the vegetation. Probably add some trees and stuff popping up across the top here then. Um, there's some new rock molds that still need to dry and be painted yet. Um, I painted these ones right here. Um, so we, we can add some vegetation there. Um, and I worked a lot on this yesterday, this whole corner right here that I'm going to show you. And you'll have to let me know what, what you think of how it turned out. I thought it turned out really well, actually. Uh, but there's that. Um, so, we got the trees, uh, the rock wall, everything, you know, pretty much done on that this, this corner. Uh, unless I can think of some uh, other ways to maybe enhance it a little bit more. But I really thought this turned out pretty good. Um, I didn't use exactly individual puff balls per se. I basically uh, took my took my uh, uh, polyfiber or my homemade polyfiber and uh, stretched it out and made almost small mats out of it. And then put that up there like that. I think it turned out a little bit more realistic than just a, a whole group of balls. <laughs> yes, I said balls. But anyways, um, so I, I thought that turned out pretty well. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, but I can, I mean, if anybody knows how to, to make puff balls, you, you know what I'm talking about. But maybe I'll show you quick what, I, what I've been doing with these little chunks chunks or mats instead of individual balls uh, so let me get this set up I'll show you real quick and then we'll wrap this video up and uh, like I said you can tell me what you think if you like it you don't like it what maybe I could do different or I mean I I, I don't have a problem with the constructive criticism but you know some there are some people that can be downright rude but like I said I don't expect everybody I don't expect everybody to like everything I do but anyways I'll talk to you later guys um, let me show you quick what I did how I did this and then uh, like I said we'll wrap this up thanks again for watching all right uh, got this set up quick um, basically what I'm doing this is my homemade uh, polyfiber. It's just a big bag of white uh, polyfiber, uh, like pillow stuffing that I got from Walmart. It comes white, and I 
spread it out as best I could, spray painted it green. But pretty much I take a section of it and I spread it out fairly thin. Like the sides there that I showed you in the first part of the video, I spread it a lot thinner than what I did for the mountain top. The mountain top, I kept it more more bunched up to give it that uh, tree line, top of the tree line look. But I just spread it out. Then I soak it down with hairspray. Now your choice of color of ground foam is up to you. Uh, this right here is a dark green coarse. And I just sprinkle it all in there. Do this over a container so you can catch the extra. Sprinkle it on there. Like I said, this is the dark green. Shake some of the excess off. Give another coat of hairspray. Hopefully I'm over here where you can see what I'm doing. And if you want, like, I took some of this, uh, excuse me, the blended turf green blend from Woodland Scenics. I have some of that. You can sprinkle some of that on in, in different areas. Break up the color a little bit. Uh, you get different color. This is an earth color ground foam. You can sprinkle some of that on there if you want. It's up to you. Give it a couple different colors in there. You know, not every, not every tree is the same color. Give it one final coat, let it dry. But whenever you plant it, then you know, kind of gives the the. A, the appearance that there's a couple different tree tops besides like I said there's a couple different colors in the, in your trees so that's all I do and then I was just hot gluing them onto the to the layout with a hot glue gun that's it uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, thanks for subscribing thanks for commenting it really means a lot and uh, like I said, let me know what you think. Talk to you guys in the next video.